Dear students, in this unit, we will talk about the most striking features of this group of protists. Now, as we have studied in previous units as well, that protists, they move from one place to the other place with the help of specialized locomotory organs. Now, in protists, we have a variety of locomotory organs. They either move with the help of cilia, which are very small thread-like structures, and uh, they could move with the help of flagella, which are also thread-like, but they are longer structures compared to the cilia. And some of the protists, they move with the help of extension of their cell membrane called as pseudopodia. Now, when we talk about uh, these locomotory organs, these cilia and flagella, their distribution over their body, the, it varies from one protist organism to the others. Some organisms, they have cilia all over their body, which helps in their locomotion, while many of the protists, they have flagella instead of the cilias. Now, when we talk about flagella, flagella are, are though not large in number, mostly they are present in the, uh, in the form of a pair. So, most algae, which are floating algae or unicellular, they are biflagellates. And both of their flagella originate near the anterior pole of the body. Example can be Chlamydomonas. Now, when we talk about the pseudopodia, amoeba and sarcodines, they are the examples of protists that move with the help of pseudopodia. As you can see from this diagram, these are the extension of their cell membranes. So their cell membrane is very delicate and whenever they want to move to one direction, they simply bulge their pseudopodia or the extension of their cytoplasm on the one direction and it helps them in the movement. Now, when we talk about the ciliated protest, they show diversity in numbers, distribution, and arrangement of the cilia all over their body. Now, these ciliates are one of the largest and varied group of protists which are named because of the use of cilia for their locomotion. Now, most of the ciliates, they are predators, means they prey on different organisms to capture them and eat them as their food source. Now, most of them, their cilia covers their whole body and it helps in the quicker locomotion. Now, in certain species, rows of tightly packed cilia function collectively in locomotions. Now, the distinctive features of the ciliates are the presence of two nuclei. One is called micronucleus and the other is called macronucleus. While the micronucleus is responsible for the reproduction of that organism, the macronucleus is responsible for the other uh, movements, metabolism, and other systems of their bodies. Now, both of the nuclei, they contain genes for the synthesis of these cilias. Many of the algal protists, they are characteristically biflagellates, and in many instances, both flagella, they originate near their interior side of the body. If you have seen the diagram of uh, typical Chlamydomonas, which we will study in the later units as well, you can find the typical example of biflagellates. So these are all different locomotory organs which are used in the phylum protista.